Okay, so today on an impromptu, I decided to travel down to Inverness. I tell you what, I love this town, uh, the fine dining that we have here, and I'm at David's Cycle World. Um, you know, I had to take the front tire off to get the bike in the car, and so, you know, me being the idiot that I am, I wasn't even sure if I put the front tire back on right. And uh, we're just going to make an impromptu video here real quick uh, before I go on a bike ride. Um, so... Tell us about bike maintenance. I mean, what what what's necessary? I mean, I bought this thing what two two years ago, I guess. I mean, at uh, at the Wildwood store, and uh, like you know, I'm here. I am at your store <laughs> here in here in Inverness. Uh, how many David Cycle World stores are there? I mean, I it's, I just know the two. Uh, yeah. So we have 21 locations throughout all Central Florida, um, pretty much ranging from Orlando all the way to Tampa and in between. Um, so we're, we're pretty much all over the place. We even have a, we have a store all else in Tallahassee for the up north, but yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, well, what do you think of the, first off, let's get your opinion. Mm -hmm. I love this bike. You know, I think it's, it's great. It's a kind of a hybrid, you know, I, I have my own, I have another bike that I use for mountain biking because mm -hmm. I mean, boy, when you get, this is mainly a, just a street bike to me. I know it's not a street bike, of course, but, uh, mm -hmm. so well, well, let's, I guess let's just get into the maintenance. What? What do I need to do to maintain this bike? So really a couple main things that the other bike can do that will make it last a long time is one, of course, keeping an eye on your tire pressure. Um, on the side wall of every tire, um, it'll say it, you'll, like, you'll have a size for if you ever have to replace your tire, if you ever have to need, need to get an inner tube. And then you also have your pressure range. So it'll usually say something like inflate to, this says inflate to 50 to 80 PSI. So you have a range, low range of 50 PSI if you want a more comfortable ride with less bumps, or 80 PSI if you want a fast rolling ride. Um, that'll be easier to pedal. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, one thing that's good to check is check around for cracks and stuff. Usually you'll see cracks develop either on the sidewall of the tire or in the treads. Um, if you have cracking on it, any sort of cracking, any visible cracking, anything like that, or if the tire's more than four or five years old, it's usually good good practice to replace them. Um, but these look like they're in great shape. I don't see any cracks, any sort of damage to the tire, um, anything like that. So, and then the other thing that's good to do is uh, lubricating your chain. Um, so let's get here. back over here. All right. Yeah. So it's always great to lubricate your chain. You know, there's you've got a little bit of oil on this right now, and it's super simple to do. Any bike shop will have chain lube. Um, we use here. We're a Trek dealer, so we use our Bontrager chain lubricant. Okay. And real easy to apply. Just give it a quick shake up. Um, you want to keep this far away from your brakes. So this has got disc brakes, so you don't want to get this any oils or anything on here when you're doing this. But it's real simple. Just lay it over the chain. Back pedal. All right. Well, just getting backing up here just a little bit. Here four, we go. Four, you know, five or six revolutions. And then you can get in here with a rag. You know, any, I've got a microfiber rag, but anything, paper towel, anything will do just fine. Just to wipe off that excess oil. Get on there. There you go, people. This is how you maintain your bike. Yeah, and this, lubricating your chain, uh, can see all the stuff that just came off of that. Wow, wow, look at that. Holy so, moly. And, right. you know, just lubricating your chain, one will keep it cleaner. You know, I never, I never thought of using the microfiber cloth. I, I bought that special oil uh -huh. at the other store, and I've just been putting the oil on there. Obviously, I haven't cleaned it, so I, you know, this is good. This is good. Yeah, yeah. Wiping it off because when you when you put the oil on it, it kind of loosens up any of that any of that old grease and grime. So when you wipe it off, that does one of two things. One, it cleans off some of that older grease, and two, it um, pretty much uh, makes it so. The oil, it makes it so you won't attract as much dirt and debris and stuff. And it'll keep the drivetrain cleaner. Okay. And lubricating your chain will also keep these rollers lubricated, of course. Yeah. Which will make the chain last longer. Because okay. every about 1,000 to 1,500 miles, uh, your chain will stretch. And that's what that stretching is, is that's those rollers wearing out okay. in there. Um, so when they stretch out, it doesn't mesh up with your co the cogs on your cassette too well anymore or your chain rings. And it can prematurely wear things here. Okay. Um, so lubricating the chain really makes the bike last a lot longer. Um, 
and of course checking your tires will make them last longer because right. you right. don't want to run low tire pressure it's just not comfortable to ride yeah. and yeah in fact i just i just did a video on uh, tire pressure for cars mm -hmm. but i haven't talked about tires for bikes you know so yeah. it's uh, this is this is a cool video it, it can do some of the same things as car tires um basically the main issue that can happen is uh two main things that can happen one it can wear on the sidewall which it can also do on car tires but two, since these are tube tires, most bike tires are tube tires, um, what can happen is if you have a low tire and you hit like a big jump, a bolt, and like say so you hit like a hole in the road or something like that, or if you go up a curb, you can actually pinch the tire and pinch it on the rim and it'll be, pop the tube and in, and in serious cases, you can actually uh, cut the tire wow. and ruin the tire. Okay. So really, you know, those two main things are great things to check. And then one final thing that's a good thing you can do, um, okay. Let me take right. this out of the stand here. All one right, thing, people. Hope you're paying attention now. This is how you maintain your bike. One great thing you can always do to check and make sure is it's real quick is just to pick your bike up and drop it on the floor. What that does is it tells you if anything's loose, anything's shaken. So if like your wheel's loose, you're going to hear it. Like, let me just give you like an example. If I make this quick release loose, we pick it up and do it again. You yeah, hear that noise. yeah, I, I you know, well, you, I, you know that, and that's how. Wow, that'd be a great way to know whether I put that front tire on yeah. correctly or not. So, <laughs> okay, all that right, That way cool. you know if anything's loose, if your headset's loose, if you got a wheel that's loose, or if you got a hub that's starting to go out. Just doing a quick pick it up a couple inches and just drop it on the ground. This is great. This is not bad at all. Yeah. This is. Okay. I don't hear anything loose on this. Um, but you'll you do that you'll know instantly if something's loose now one one thing that I did I don't know you see these metal caps that I bought mm -hmm. um, because I don't know the bicycle tires seem to lose inflation fairly quickly I mean I have to pump these tires up pretty much every time I go biking but I only bike like once every couple months you know so mm -hmm. I mean I'm, I'm not the avid bicyclist you know that, that everybody else is I mean, is, 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 why do they lose pressure? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, are these metal caps a good idea? I mean, that I did, or, or what do you think? Yeah, these these don't have anything to do with um, losing pressure. I actually have metal metal caps on my bike. It's cool, good style points because you get all sorts of colors. Like you got the red here. Yeah, yeah so I like that adds red. For, adds for cool style points. Um, really, just because these are so small tires, are so such low volume. They tend to, and also thinner rubber. They have a tendency to lose pressure like that. You actually really should check your tire pressure on like bike tires every three or four days wow that and often huh yeah and it's I, really, really i would have good never to, thought that yeah it's actually really you know you can even get a quick give it a quick pinch every time you go for a ride yeah. give the tire a quick pinch and make sure it's nice and firm just so you, you know and even that's still not completely accurate but it's a good way just a good way so you're like yeah you pinch it and it's really soft you know immediately you're not just going to go out with a rope with a well, little tire an another question my old bike it the tire pressure was like max 40 pounds mm -hmm. and these are I'm, i pumped these up to 80 mm -hmm. uh and you said that, that you know that's kind of the max yeah um i mean is that because this is more of a street bike that i can put more pressure in here like on a mountain bike or are they are, they, are the new bikes still at 40 pounds or are most of the tires getting up to 80 pounds these days so really yeah more depends on the style of bike um because you have uh, you know, you, there's tires that go at, at max PSI of like 20 PSI, but that's usually like a fat tire bike. Yeah, I've seen those uh, on trail, yeah. Yeah, usually when you get into like the wider tires, the higher volume tires, that's where you're going to see the lower pressures. Um, whereas you got like a, like a road bike with the super skinny tires and the drop bars, those yeah. can get up to 120, 130 PSI. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it really d goes off of the width and the size of the tire um, because, you know, for instance, like that they have that, that that max pressure is if you go above this the tire can possibly blow off the rim and usually a wider tire is going to have is, isn't going to hold the tire or a wider rim isn't going to usually hold uh because you have you have to have a wider rim for that wide tire like for example my uh i own a truck roscoe that has 2.8 inch wide tires and it has a much wider rim actually about twice the width of this for to accommodate for those tires okay um, but those only have a max pressure of 35 pounds. So really, yeah, just goes just, off of the... Just varies from bike to bike. You yeah, know, varies so. from bike to bike. That's why it's yeah. always great to just go around your sidewall, check what the check what the manufacturer says to put them at, and okay. stick with that. Um, that way you know, because the manufacturer who designed this tire, and they, they know how what type of rim this is going to go on. 
they know they know how much pressure this tire should have, so it's going to work optimally. All right. Well, I guess uh, that'll be it for here at David's uh, Cycle World. I, I tell you what. If you're going to buy a bike, this is the place to come. I, I've been very pleased uh, riding this bike, although I'm, I'm not an avid enthusiast, but I tell you what, it's a beautiful uh, contraption here, and uh, I'm looking forward to a day out on the trail. We're going to make a, a video. Uh, by the way, can you tell us just a little bit about the bike trail? I think it goes like, what, 70 miles or something? Or? So the trail in total is 46 miles long. I believe it does go. They're, they're working on construction on the south end, trying to extend a little further. I think up to the. I think it's up to the Good Neighbor Trail. Um, could be wrong there. Don't take my word for it. But because um, I'm I'm more of a mountain mountain, mountain biker myself, so um, I know Ashley here's got a little more information on the trail. But yeah, it's 46 miles long in total. Um, you have from where we're at, you have 30 miles south and 16 miles north. Okay, I'm going north today, so mm -hmm. I get that. We'll get the 16 miles in for sure, so yeah. that'll be good. Yeah, you will see the north end of the trail and uh, go up there. And actually, it's cool cause since we're right, right right across the trail, this building used to be the old uh, train station. Um, so that way, and that and it's cool because now we have, we're right here. If people need to stop by for you know we have water here, if people need to set the AC or need a quick repair, things like that, we're here to help out. So. Oh man, I tell you, this is going to be a great day. Uh, thank you so much. I, you know, what can I say? These guys are fantastic. All right, people, let's get on the trail. Woohoo! Thank God for David's Psycho World.